Welcome to another Fear No Fix video. Today we're working on a 2004 Ford F-150 with a 5.4 liter engine. Today we're going to be replacing the throttle body, which you may need to do if you've got a P0106, a P0171, or really any misfire code. You may notice that if your throttle body is bad, your fuel mileage will go down, and you may stall or have trouble starting your truck. This is a pretty easy fix. No special tools, just stuff that got lying around your garage. We are gonna move a couple of things out of the way. We're gonna move the air box, but there's no real challenge here. The hardest thing you might face is a couple of rusty bolts. Let's get to it. The throttle body is over here, center of the engine, under the air box. So before we can take it out, we got a little bit of work to do. We're gonna remove the air box, a couple of hoses, clips, connectors, we're gonna move this intake tubing right here. But first, we're gonna start by disconnecting the battery. Now we'll remove the inlet ducting. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt on the back by the power steering reservoir. Then lift up and pull out. The air box is held down with four 10 millimeter bolts. Two on this side, and then two on the other side. Depending on how old your truck is, these bolts can be surprisingly rusty. So if you got a couple hours, it's not a bad idea to spray it down with a little bit of PB Blaster or some other penetrating oil before you get started. Now we're going to remove this hose here on the passenger side of the airbox. To remove it, there's a green clip right here. You pry up on it and then you just pull out. The green clip is part of the collar here. It doesn't come out, so don't pull too hard or you'll break it. So if it was there, we'd pull up in our green collar and then just pop it off and then we'll just place it off to the side. Now we're gonna remove the connector for the mass airflow sensor. We just pull out on this red tab here, then press down and pull. Then just grab the air box, pull up, wiggle a little bit, and we'll place it aside. Now the throttle body's exposed, so we're gonna start by disconnecting the throttle position sensor on the left here. Slide up on the red tab, press in, and place it aside. Now we're gonna remove this PCV hose over here. This is the green tab I was talking about. This is part of the collar. It doesn't come off, so don't break it. Just reach around the back. You can press on a little tab. You can see how it's moving there a little bit now. Just push in on it, slide up, and we'll place this off to the side as well. Now we're gonna remove this cable from the throttle over here. This one's a little hard to get to. Just like the other connector, there's a red tab you need to slide back, but this time it's on the bottom angled up slightly. So if you have a pick or a screwdriver or something, you can come in from the back from behind the motor. You see my pick there? And then you can just come in underneath slide it out like that. The red tab just comes out a little bit and then just underneath where it came out there's a little plastic tab. Um, it's a tight fit. I can just barely get my finger in there. If you can't, you can take a screwdriver or a pick again. Come back and just right around here. Feel around for that tab and press up and then pull out. So there's your tab right there. So you'd want to be coming in with the pick and trying to press right around there. Before moving the throttle body, just have a quick look around for any dirt or debris. We don't want anything getting inside the intake. Uh, if there's anything there, you could use a brush, compressed air, or whatever you have on hand. Just make sure the area's a little tidy before you take it off. The throttle body's held in place with four 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, one in the back, one back there. Now we just grab the throttle body, pull up, take the bolts with it, make sure they don't fall off, and place it aside. To 
plate safe, we're gonna take a rag and we're just gonna stuff it down here for now. Just don't wanna lose any bolts or 10 mil sockets in there. Now we're gonna take a pick and we're gonna remove the old O-ring. Before reinstalling everything, we're just gonna clean down the surface with a rag and some brake cleaner or whatever you have on hand. Now we're gonna install the new gasket. Here's our shiny new throttle body. Don't forget to remove your rag. Now we're gonna reinstall our four 10 mil bolts. We're gonna torque these bolts down in two stages. First, we're gonna to torque each one to 80 inch pounds or about 6.67 foot pounds. And now we're gonna tighten each bolt another quarter turn, 90 degrees. Now we're gonna plug the connector back in. Red tab, just make sure it's out. Face is down and then rotate it slightly back, maybe about 30 degrees. Push it in until it clicks. Push the red tab in. Take the PCB hose and just push it back on until it clicks. Now we'll reattach the throttle position sensor cable and push down on the tab. Reinstall the air box. Make sure it's well seated on top of the new throttle body. Now we're gonna replace our four 10 millimeter bolts. And torque all four bolts down to about 89 inch pounds or 7.4 foot pounds. Reconnect the passenger side hose. Push it in until it clicks, assuming nobody broke the green tab off. And now our mass airflow connector. Red tab still out. Push it in until it clicks, slide it in. Now we'll take the intake tubing, insert it there. And then we're gonna take the other end and just angle it up slightly, slide it into the air box and then push in and down. And then we're gonna replace our 10 mil bolt on the bracket back here by the power steering reservoir. Torque the bolt to 80 inch pounds or 6.67 foot pounds. And now we'll cap things off by reconnecting the battery. We're done. Okay, Chris, that fix actually wasn't too bad. Once we got some space in the engine bay, that throttle body was easy to access. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified of any future videos. And until next time, fear no fix.